Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I'm going to be going over a report uh, that claims that TSMC will be the exclusive supplier of the A12 processors in 2018 iPhones. So in case you're not aware, uh, Apple has used various suppliers in the past uh, for their chips in their phones, and TSMC has always, or at least seemed to be the best. So that is why it's good to hear that Apple will be using them uh, for the A12 processors or whatever they call them uh, in 2018. Now the report citing unnamed sources within Apple's supply chain claims the A12 chip will be manufactured based on an improved seven nanometer process, which should pave the way for the type of performance improvements we see in new iPhones each year. TSMC is already the exclusive supplier of the A11 Bionic chips for the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10. It was also said to be the sole manufacturer of A10 Fusion chips for the 7 and 7 Plus. And if it's accurate, it would be uh, a loss for Samsung, which has been attempting to win back orders from Apple for around two years. They supplied the chips, the A9 chips in the 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE, but Apple has relied upon TSMC as a sole supplier for newer devices. I don't know if you guys remember, there was a whole big issue when the uh, 6S and 6S Plus uh, came out that some people were getting Samsung chips, some people were getting TSMC. At the time I thought, oh, Samsung must be better. But I'm pretty sure the TSMC ones had slightly better performance. Um, and obviously Apple doesn't want to give more business to Samsung. So they're pulling it away, giving it to TSMC. I think it's a win-win for everyone. So that is nice to know. So what do you guys think about this? I know sometimes people don't even think about, you know, the processor that's inside their phone uh, or who makes it, but I think it's good to know uh, that TSMC is doing this and the A12 chip is going to be awesome. The A11 chip in the iPhone 10 is crazy fast. Uh, it is a really, really nice chip. Maybe the A12 can uh, maybe boost the performance just a bit but then also uh, be better at power management and as well as battery consumption, maybe drop it down a little bit, be a little bit more efficient. And I think that's what they plan to do. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.